الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمد الله سبحانه وتعالى نستعين به ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مذل له ومن يبن فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك الله أشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتون إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله وقولوا خولا سديدا يفرح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطيع الله رسوله قال فاز فوزا عظيما يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة فخلق منها زوجها وبيض منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي يَتَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا إِنَّ خَيْرُ الْكَلَامِ كَلَامُ اللَّهِ وَخَيْرُ هُدَى هُدَى مُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ الشَّرُّ الْأُمُورُ مُحْتَفَاتُهَا كُلُّ مُحْدَثَةٍ بِدْعَةٍ كُلُّ بِدْعَةٍ ضَلَالَةٍ وَكُلُّ ضَلَالَةٍ فِي النَّارِ أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ النَّارِ We thank Allah Azza wa Jalla for the blessing of being on the Sirat al Mustaqeem We ask Allah the sublime and glorious to make us firm upon this Sirat of all of the attacks that the shaitan launches against us and he increases those attacks as we, as we are getting closer to the time that we will meet the loss of power and power. That's what I can make us firm and to deprive us of a love for anything more than we love to obey him and submit ourselves to him, yeah. especially our own desires and our own personal inclinations toward the word of things that take us off the Sarat al I mean, Allahumma Ameen. Prophet Muhammad Ali Islam on one occasion was a little ill. And at the same time, uh, the revelation was not coming to him over short periods of time. It was scattered more. So there was a lady who said, you know, the people were saying that he was crazy, that he's a madman, he's a, he's a sorcerer that he's a, a poet, these types of things. So the lady said, Hey, Muhammad, I see your devil has left you. SubhanAllah. She said, I see your devil has left you. To say that the devil has given him revelation. In the Quraysh, in the Sahih, including Imams Bukhari and Muslim from Junduk, and he read both of these, both of these hadiths, Junduk. The first one was from Ibn Abbas, and this one's from Junduk from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he was ill the Quraysh was saying his Lord has left him and abandoned him he hates him SubhanAllah he's abandoned him and he hates him so Allah revealed to him what duha what layla either I said that ma wa da'ata rabbuka wa ma'am SubhanAllah Allah brings he holds court now and he brings his first witness the duha, the morning light. The first light after the sunrise that now is permissible to pray again so you can make your sunnahs two, four, six, eight. That's established in the sun. That the Prophet did didn't more, did make more than eight at that time. So Allah brings to witness the duha. The duha is very consistent. It doesn't wait. It always comes after the sunrise. So he says, if this as consistent and established as this is, this is the truth. This is my first witness. Well, Layla either as Seja, and by the night, as it overspreads and takes over everything, that's the second witness. To what? Now, what the author of that your Lord has not abandoned you, and he does not hate you. So they shut up, and they left him alone. Allah protects his messengers and the people who believe. Allah help us to come to be remaining on this rock of Mustafim and be amongst those people Amen. who truly believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah as well is consoling his prophet, Ali Sallallahu He's comforting him. And he does that throughout the Quran. The stories of the previous prophets and messengers, the things they faced, the same thing. He said they were madmen, they were crazy, they were possessed because they didn't go with the flow of the society. They were different. Y'all know what that's like. So he told him about Musa alayhi salam and Fir'aun. 
And at the end of that story, Allah's Majella told him, كَذَلِكَ نَقُصُ عَلَيْكَ مِنْ أَنْبَعِ مَا قَدَ السَّبَقَ وَقَدْ أَعْتَيْنَاكَ بِالَّدُنَّا ذِكْرَى مِنْ عَرَضَ أَنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ يَحْمِلُ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامِةِ لِوِزْرَى خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا وَسَأَ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ وَسَأَ لَهُمْ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامِةِ هِمْ لَا So after he related the story of Musa and Fir'aun, he said, thus we relate to you some of what happened before. And then with thee, we have given you from us a reminder. Whoever turns away from it, Allah bless you, not turn away from the reminders. Whoever turns away from it, verily they will be a heavy burden the day of resurrection. He said, they will abide in that. And evil indeed is that as a burden upon them the day of resurrection. Abu Fadaya Ismail Ibn Kathir, he says about this particular verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to his Prophet Muhammad alayhi wa sallam about all the previous nations, the prophets and the messengers who came to them. That we have told you, O Muhammad, Ya Rasulullah, of Musa alayhi salam and what happened to him with their own, the honor of Allah and his armies. Told it to you specific details concerning that, just as, just as it happened, without increasing or, in it, in it, or, decreasing, or decreasing it in any degree. And like their own and all the others who disbelieved and rejected their prophets and messengers, Allah says, He said, each one of them, we seized them and we took them up to account for their sins. For men whom men alayhi hasibah. So there was amongst them those upon whom we sent the Hasiba, that is a violent storm from the sky, bringing down fire and stones, back in Lot's people, for example. But men whom men Akhadat Husayha, Allah said, those are them, amongst them those who were seized by the terrible blast, that is this loud sound that came from the heavens, like the mood, with Salih alayhi salam. And there are those whom the earth opened up and swallowed, that Qarun. And he said, of those, men of we drowned, such as Pharaoh and the people of Nuh, alayhi salam. Allah said, it is not that Allah would transgress against anybody, but it is the people themselves who transgress against themselves. Ibn Adam in here the Amalukum. Allah says, it's only your deeds. Oh, see, halakum. I take a calendar of your deeds. Wafikum mujurah. And I give you what you earn. From wajra khayram fa yahmidillah. So whoever finds good, say alhamdulillah. From wajra khayram fa yahmidillah. If you find anything else, blame your own nefs. May Allah help us against our own nefs. Then he directed the Prophet Muhammad alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam towards Nuh. And he says, Get the best couple of whom call Manuh, whom forget the boo, forget the boo, Abdin now call whom as Nunum was Dujir. But that rock who any Maglubum Fantasir. But Fatahna Abuabe Sama, we met in Munhammer, a Fedger Nel Alder Yunan, Don Kalma, Ala Amrin Kad Kudir. Hamel now who are that Elwah and would do so to Jeriva Ayinina, Jesa Adiman Kana Kufur. The people of Noah alayhi salam denied their messenger before them, before them, Ya Rasulullah, that is the Quraysh, your people. Then the people of Noah did the same thing. They denied him. They rejected our servant and said a madman was Dujir, that is, he was rebuked. He was ostracized. He was threatened. He was warned. And even attempted to kill some of the prophets of messages, and some of them they did. So Nuh alayhi salam invoked his Lord saying, I have been overcome. SubhanAllah. So help me, O Allah. I'm weak and I'm able to resist, continue resisting these people. He's at 40 years old now receiving a revelation. He's got a long way to go. 950 years. He's got a long ways to go. He's got a lot of work to do. He's got a lot of trees to plant. He's got to farm these trees. He's got to build his ark. Long, big enough to hold two of every kind of living being. And all the people who believe in him, only 80 people. So 
subhanallah. Three levels. Subhanallah. Allah says, so when he made that dua, we opened the heavens, <coughs> the gates of the heavens with, wa with water that is one hammer that is torrential rain. You can imagine if what's happening in California is just isolated to California. Imagine if that's the whole world, what that rain would look like. We call springs to gush forth from the earth. From every part of the earth, even the fires that were burning, water came up through those fires. So how long though? So the waters of the heavens and the waters of the earth came together at a level that was decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some people say either feet above the highest point of a mountain on the earth. And we carried him on a ship made of planks and nails floating under our eyes. The ship was directed by the decree of Allah. The ship was constructed by the decree of Allah and the specifications of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exactly how to make it, what to make it from. And how to lubricate it and what to lubricate it with so that it doesn't have that friction going through the water. SubhanAllah. A major task. We carried him on a ship made of planks and nails floating under our eyes. A reward for him who had been rejected. Allah has a reward for all of us brothers and sisters being rejected. Here in this dunya, don't let it bother you. And indeed, we have left this as a sign. Then is there any who will be mindful? Then how terrible is my torment and my warnings? We have indeed made the Qur'an easy to remember, so is there any who will be mindful, any who will understand and remember, any who will be mindful of these admonitions in the Qur'an. I'm a Jure reporter from Ibn Abbas, for example, that the torrential rain Allah mentioned there came from the sky on a day there were no clouds, not one cloud in the sky anywhere. And all the rain before then came from clouds, and after then came from clouds. On that day, it came from the skies. Allah opened the skies with water specifically for these people to punish them. And it did not come from clouds. Qatar said, Allah left the ship of Nuh intact into the first generation of the Muslims. During the Prophet Muhammad first generation of this Ummah were able to see it. As Allah says, and we are left it as a sign. If the enemy will be mindful of this sign. The blind brother who said, if you take the word significance, S I G N I F I C E N C E, and break the first part and say a sign. I F I C A N can see. Sign of I can see. Now they help us to see his signs. In our last time, I love Saul, I can tell him a little bit He says, it's not the eyes and the head that go blind. The blind person says this. It's the hearts and the chest that go blind. Because the sins and the rejection and disbelief, these things cloud out the heart of the Prophet in the Hadith. And when a person makes tobits so again, gloss and clean, the light, the nur of Hidayah comes back into the heart. May Allah bless us with the nur of Hidayah, inshallah. Amen. <coughs> Ibn Kathir says, however, it appears that the meaning that Allah is intending, he says, is that Allah has kept ships as a sign. For example, he said, Allah says in the Quran, "Wa aizul lahum an nahamul nadhuriyatun fil fulkil mashhum, wa khalqna lahum min mithlihi ma yarkabum." And as a sign for them, His people and us, all people, is that Allah says that He bore the offspring, our offspring, Subhanallah, the offspring of we are all the offspring of the people who were in the boat with Noah, as we, they were all the offspring of the people of Adam alayhi salam, and the people on the boat. Of those 80 people, the ones who were not of his family died before they had children. So everybody now came from Noah's people. SubhanAllah. SubhanAllah. Allah mentions this also in the Quran. A sign for them is that we bore their offspring in the laden ship, the offspring of the Quraysh. So a sign for them that they came from these people. And we have indeed created for them similarly vessels on which they ride. Think about a ship laden with two of every kind, subhanAllah. And you have ships now, cruise ships, three, four, five stories. They have shopping centers, shopping centers movies, theaters, recreational centers, everything in there. Tons. The heaviest ship, they say today, is 657,000 tons. It's called the Seawise Giant. 657,000 tons. A ton is 2.2 .2 pounds. Now you can take a little piece of paper 
just a fraction of a piece of paper to sit on the water, it'll sink. It'll saturate and it'll sink in the water. But all this stuff floating on the water loss is just a sign that he has enabled us to do these things. But how did Allah he rub it out of me? Allah SWT sent the first book of Revelation to Nuh alayhi salam. They were the first people to commit shirk. So Nuh alayhi salam was the first person to have to address the shirk amongst his people. Prior to that, everybody was on one middle, one methodology, and everybody was on the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah left Nuh amongst his people for 950 years. Oh, for Senator, they left from Sina Island, as he said. It is a thousand years minus fifty. لَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا نُوحًا إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ فَلَبَتَ فِيهِمْ خَمْسِ لَبَتَ فِيهِمْ أَلْفَ سَنَةً إِلَىٰ خَمْسِينَ عَامٍ فَأَخَذَهُمُ الطُّوفَانُ وَهُمْ ظَالِمُونَ فَأَنْجَيْنَاهُ وَأَسْحَابَ السَّفِينَةِ وَجَعَلْنَاهَا آيَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Allah says in this verse that indeed we sent Noah to his people and he stayed among them inviting them a thousand years of self fifty. So the deluge, the flood overtook them while they were wrongdoers. Then we saved him and the companions of the boat and made the boat to be a sign for all people. The alamy for everybody. That's for the Muslims to take out ammunition and for the non-Muslims to take out ammunition. Well, I said, do not see that later on if you put iron on the army. Every, every day, year, every two years that we afflicted with some difficulty. That is when you're German. Maybe they'll think. Maybe they'll reflect and come back from doing so much transgression. Again, all those previous societies, the things that each one was doing and was destroyed for, are collectively now in our society. We do all of it. All of it. And each one of those punishments was so terrible. Just imagine what's going to happen if these people, we don't stop what's happening amongst us today. And law has promised it. You have a limit to your transgression. If you have it from the end of go to Firaun. He has transgressed <coughs> all bounds now. He's saying he is Allah Almighty. You have no Allah, no God except me. You see these rivers flowing to me? Moses is confused. He thinks it's somebody else, something in the sky or something. SubhanAllah. So these afflictions, SubhanAllah, the scholars say this is. Allah says that he will make them to taste of a nearer punishment, a lesser punishment, before the greater punishment. And he sent Musa to throne, the Tisar Ayahs, and they enacted nine signs. He rejected all of them. So, how many signs come to us in our lives every day? Cut it out. Get off of that. Get on this. How many signs come to us when we see and we remember, we think about what we should be doing, what we're not supposed to be doing? <coughs> SubhanAllah. There's a limit to which we can go. We're rejecting signs before we sealed up. When the fate is sealed, no man will help you at that point that you believe if you hadn't done it before. So the Shaykh says, Allah tells the problem how this sound. Don't feel sorry for your people. He was always so sorrowful that the people would not accept this man. He's not going to say shaitan get any one person. Plus, you will grieve yourself to death that they're not taking your message. Don't do that. But he's robbing to a lot of men. That's his nature. He can help it. That's his nature. The merciful. The mercy of all the world. SubhanAllah. Do not feel sorry because of your people who do not. Accept his message and don't grieve over them for Allah guides whom he wills and leaves astray whom he wills. The matters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we instructed Nuh alayhi salam to tell his people. We now say Nuh and Al-Qawmi and Hindu Al-Qawmi come in Kabla Yat, Hindu Adaba Yom Adaba Alim. Kali Al-Qawmi and Ilakum Nadir Mubin and Yabudullah with Aku at the Yerun. Yafilakum and the Nubikum, we are Hirakum, Ila Ajil and Musamma, and Ajil Allah, he does not you are Hirakum from Tarlamun. Ta 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 Indeed, we sent Noah to his people saying, Warn your people before they come to them a painful torment. He said, My people, I have a plain warner, making the matter very apparent and clear to you, that you must worship Allah and have taught of him and obey me. His commands and his prohibitions that I convey to you. He will forgive you your sins and, your, and, and give you respite to an appointed day. 
Verily, when the term of Allah comes, it cannot be delayed if you only knew. In the previous book, uh, the verse was recited, Afa'amin ahlu qurah yatihum ba'asana bayatam hum na'imum. Afa'amin ahlu qurah yatihum ba'asana duham wa yalabum. Afa'amin wa makallah. Wala ya'amun wa makallah. Ila fa'amun wa makallah. The people of the town, and don't think about any other people except us, and no other town except our town and our country. Every people in every town apply to them. Do they feel comfortable from the plan of Allah, the method, the plot, the strategies of Allah, that it will not afflict you while you're asleep at night, or while you're involved in your activities during the day? Do you feel safe from Allah's strategy, from His plan? Nobody feels safe from Makrullah illa qawmul khasir except the losers. Never feel satisfied that I'm on the Sarat al Mustafim on five a day, paying my zakat, I'm fasting from Ramadan, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, good. But always question yourself where does my slack come that I need to tighten up? Will Allah actually accept my deeds? Is my food halal? Is my drink halal? Is my clothing halal? Is my living halal? Is my riding halal? Is everything, is my stuff halal? But now he said, Jabu Allah, he said about the man in travel, he in travel, he'll do his answer, do his answer in travel. He said, how this man going to be answered everything about him haram? He immersed in haram, everything haram. Even the smell good, that smell good, he stole it, he stink to a loss of time. So how he going to be answered? How is this going to be accepted? Allah help us, inshallah, to continue seeing a reality according to Allah's description of reality and not accept this reality, this false reality that people are presenting in the society that deceives the people and just have them all whacked out in their thinking. SubhanAllah. May Allah have mercy on the people who have not been guided and guided them, inshallah, to the Sirach of the Fatima. So the Shaykh said that he was to tell the people that if they repent to Allah, the punishment will be lifted from them. They will be given respite. Allah says, He would not destroy a people while you are there amongst them, O Muhammad. Ya Rasulullah. And He would not destroy a people while they are asking for forgiveness from Allah. It's that for Allah. That's Allah for you. In the Hukanah of Allah, certainly Allah is forgiven. We should always be saying, As that for Allah. I told you. All the time. At least 50, 60, 70 times a day. We should take some spare time and do that. That's your best movie. It's take far and Toba. That's your best TikTok, uh, YouTube, whatever this, all this stuff is. That's your best entertainment. Entertain your soul on what's going to make, subhanAllah, your path easy to a loss of And the Shaykh says, the appointed term that is mentioned in the verse is that Allah will expand your lifetime and protect you from the torment that will befall you if you did not obey Him. He said this ayah is used as proof for those who say obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and righteousness to the fa- to, to uh, righteousness and maintain the family ties increase the life of a person. You find this in the hadith as Mutafak Ali, agreed upon by Muslim and Bukhari, and Anasim ibn Mali, Rabbi Anu, called Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sallam, and sallahu, and yub sallahu, fi rizqihi, or yun sallahu, fi athrihi, fo yu sallahu, fi yasil rahimah. As Anna's reported, as in the matter, Brother Randall, the Mr. Allah, the slave of Islam, said, Whoever is pleased to have his provision increased and his life expanded, let her, uh, let him keep good relations with their family. I pull the whole house that Allah loves him. Leave all of them disciples and then from the Mikuli them must take rule. And no who go for Rahim. My favorite thing is in the place of Allah's not out there even alone. That's a lot of forgiveness for your all Muslims and all sins. That's a lot of forgiveness. That's a lot of forgiveness for Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulih al-kareem ala alihi wa sahabatihi al-bari'im Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also related to Prophet Muhammad after relating to him about Musa and Fir'aun the, the dua that Musa alayhi salam made against Fir'aun and his people 
ربنا تمس على أموالهم وسجود على قلوبهم فلا يؤمنون حتى يروا العذاب الأليم. Elder here saying, all nine signs, all Musa's bullets gone now, all his arrows been fired. Everything's been done. And Pharaoh is still chasing them. They're trying to leave. He's still chasing them. So Musa said, well, Allah, you have given them much wealth, much wealth and provision. You have been very favorable to these people. Does that sound like us? The U.S. of A. You've done so much materially. And they still reject you. Oh Lord, destroy their will. Be mindful of the dua of the one who is being transgressed against. There's no shield, no no prevention, no barrier between him and that and Allah. That dua goes straight to Allah. What's do Allah kulubi him for Allah? Men have tell you Allah never lay. And it make their hearts harder. They want hard hearts, make them harder. And do not allow them to be believers until they see the punishment. That's a, subhanAllah. That's a strong dua for a prophet to make. Prophets don't want people to be destroyed. But by now, Musa, he's, he's fed up. He has nothing else he can do. And Noah, the same thing. He said, do not leave a single house. Do not leave a single house. But no, you do do ibadak. If you leave one single one of these people, they will cause your believers to go astray and they will not reproduce or produce anything else but deviant, wayward disbelievers. May Allah not allow us to be amongst the deviant, wayward disbelievers. So Allah, subhanAllah, Allah sent the, uh, the water and it destroyed everyone on the earth. Except the people who want to vote with Nuh Alayhi Salaam. Musa Dua in the English he explained it. He said, Oh Lord, destroy their wealth and harden their hearts so that they will not believe until they see the painful torment. And the Shaykh says, Allah responded to the supplication of both of these prophets, Nuh and Muhammad Alayhi Salaam, concerning their people, and he drowned their nations due to their rejection of what their prophet had brought. Ya Allah subhanahu Spell us as believers. I mean. Nusman Zala said this people let to their other other men okay for in the yeah. Do not leave a single house from the Kufa on the earth. May Allah make this now into our homes, inshallah, of our immediate families and our extended families. That our people who, inshallah, have not accepted this now will see the light of this now and accept this now. May Allah SWT got all those people who are seeking this peace, this tranquility. It's contentment that we find with Islam. And let them know that it's not in the drugs, it's not in the alcohol, it's not in the food, it's not in the government, not in the sex. All these people become addicted to everything that people do. Because they're overindulging it, seeking for that lasting salam. It don't last unless you got that Islam. And then you want to hunt for some more. And so it's, it's a benediction. We thank Allah for this guidance, inshallah. I feel here. Accept our deeds, inshallah. Allah help us to, impure, to purify our hearts, to purify our bodies, inshallah, purify our environment, purify our thoughts, and put strength, strengthen the bond between us, that binds us into this community, and, and make it to be more of a practical type bond that we don't just come together physically and, and leave each other in peace and don't steal from each other like other people do. Uh, just the religion one situation where we had the last one of the, I think maybe the let no the next to the last citywide aid that we have on Jonesboro Road out there by 285 at the exposition center. So those of us who are the last ones, people like the security, y'all got to appreciate these brothers and sisters doing security. They t they, they t they'll take a bullet for you. And they ain't like the people y'all running with. You wouldn't take a bullet for them. They're going to be the one putting the trigger. Yeah. <laughs> SubhanAllah. They say, the security guards say, you know what? Y'all some, some different kind of people. All kind of people. Not one fight. Not one argument. Nobody caught that broke into. SubhanAllah. That's a sign. May Allah SWT help us to make this more practical. I mean, and have some Islamic hospitals. I mean, where our sisters don't have to go to these other hospitals. They have men handling their bodies. And then Islamic. You know old folks now. We don't have to have the women. Who far women washing our bodies and changing our diapers. SubhanAllah. And we will have our own economy. This is all a part of Islam. 
You can have Islamic insurance where everybody makes money, not just the people who write policies. There's so much left to do. But, but for this generation that we are leaving now, we've done a lot. So don't y'all look at us and say, wait, we didn't do all of that. We've done a lot. There was only two mass years in the land at one time. Two. One at one time, that's what I know of. They might know better than that, but I don't know that one masjid and one temple on Bankhead, and the temple became a masjid on Fairfield Road. And now we have masjids all over the place. You want something done? You can call a Muslim. We have Muslim professionals who can do things for us. We thank Allah for the thing. Amen. That is going to make us firm and strong, inshallah, to meet him. And inshallah, and he ought to make us be a Muslim prophet, prophets and martyrs and those who have been the, 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 the helpers of this deen I mean. and get the pleasure of seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his essential reality. Yeah. And his essential reality that is not created, so the created man couldn't even understand or comprehend it if Allah told us what it was. Then yeah, Allah helps us to see his reality. And in the meantime, the reality of this deen to make it clear to us. We'll call the heaven stuff of all our deen. But now, so that's all the stuff we promise to survive.